from Sullivan Entertainment, during the season of peace, goodwill, and Christmas cheer, a family reunion is marred by the reality of war. To be part of the, the history and the, and the grit of uh, trench warfare in World War I is, is, is quite exciting. It, the drama would happen within the town, but never history, you know. And so now that this, that World War One is in, and watching this small town that had always been a, a close community cope with the event is, is is mesmerizing, you know. What is it, dear? Felix is listed as missing in action. I think that Janet's perspective and her and her personal reaction to it it's not what we would have felt you know we were on the side of king and country and duty bound it's precisely in times of hardship that strength of character is revealed my son is missing my son everyone's uh, carried away with honor and duty and patriotism and um janet isn't least been interested in that. i'm saying that i no longer feel willing to participate in the encouragement of this war are you saying you're a, a, a pacifist? People are calling her a pacifist. Really, what she is is the mother responding to the loss of her son. So out of this grief is coming a lot of anger. And, and Janet's lashing out at everyone. You can keep your moldy traditions and your trumped-up sense of duty and pride. Because at the end of the day, Eddie King, that is all you will have. I wouldn't have missed shooting this for the world. I, I love coming back and seeing all these favorite old people, and it's great. I wouldn't have missed it. In this movie, Olivia tries to take a firm hand with her sister, but it just completely falls apart. I mean, there's no changing those kind of relationships between sisters. When you can learn to treat me and Jasper with a little respect, then you'll find me at King's Farm. Tell the executive to put the foundling home up for sale. There are definitely some new challenges for her in terms of um, how she's dealing with Felix being away. Felicity doesn't seem to be as emotionally involved. I think she tries to kind of detach herself from it so that she can be strong for her mother. He'll come home. I know it. Alex kind of concern even with his wife getting emotional about this in public and so on is that it would feel at that time an unseemly thing to do because there are other people too who've got children missing something wrong with mcguire can i help her they're killed both my boys i'm really sorry well this show is different because it um it takes a lot more of a, of a serious look at the era. We're right on the edge of the war. It deals with some pretty hard issues, like uh, the loss of a loved one, the potential loss of others, um, all these issues that we've never really, I would say, attacked on, on the series itself. And if this growth not benign, Doctor. Surgery is unlikely to halt the spread of a malignancy, but without it, you will never walk again. I think the, one of the most challenging things that we've had to do on this show is create Snowy Christmas 1914 in an early spring here in Toronto. This script is um, a lot about what happens on the home front during the war. And I think that's really exciting. You know, we don't see much of that. And it really lets the audience kind of know what's going on in history and they can follow it. Daniel, I've got messages coming in. Listen, why don't you go... Why don't you go over to the foundling home and visit Felicity, all right? What is it, Cecily? The war office. This show is very different than the, the uh, series was. It actually has a, a very poignant theme going through it. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a really it's a good theme about how valuable uh, family and how good it is to be alive. I need you to find your way back to us. People are moved by the Avonlea story and... They can't let go of it. It seems to have stuck in people's hearts, just got lodged there, and it doesn't want to come out. From Sullivan Entertainment, a story of courage and hope.